Plenty of smart people like you dearly want a PhD, but not all of them for the right reasons, and not all of them understand what this entails. Plenty of people ask me for advice on how to get admitted for a PhD, and originally I was going to do a video about exactly that. But as I was gathering my thoughts, it seems that we should first have a chat on whether it would be a good idea for you to do a PhD, otherwise it would all be a colossal waste of time. Like that guy I know who applied to be a lecturer in my department, this is a true story, but then when he was offered a place after a very competitive selection involving about a hundred candidates, he figured out he didn't want to take it up after all. A big waste of time and resources, both for him and for us. But when it's not simply about applying for a position and then refusing it when you get the offer, but instead it's where you actually do a full PhD degree, which takes years, and then at the end you decide mm, that's not what you actually want to do with the rest of your life, then that would be an even bigger waste of time and money for you. It's like the equivalent of being fined over $100,000 and of going to jail for three years or more. Okay, You wouldn't like that, right? I'm sure you could do so much more with that money and with that time in your life. So don't waste it the money and the time on something that is not going to take you where you want to be. So welcome to Frank's Day Explains. If you're new here, I'm a professor of computer science at Cambridge and a fellow of Trinity College. But what I say applies to PhDs in other topics than computer science and at other institutions than Cambridge. Of course, these are just my own opinions, but bear in mind I not only have a Cambridge PhD myself, it's also part of my job to give PhDs to other people. So let me start by telling you what a PhD is not. One, a PhD is not a destination. It is not a finishing point. It is not a target. It is not by itself an achievement worth anything. If you do a PhD and feel all proud that you've made it, you got the wrong idea. A PhD is a starting point. It's the start of a research career. It's the stage where other people in your peer community will start taking you seriously when you say something. And from then on, you have to start saying something, okay? So the question you really should, should ask yourself is, do you want a research career? Do you want to have to come up with new stuff year in, year out for the next 40 years? Or will you be scared of the blank page after a while? If you get the PhD and then you stop there, then you haven't accomplished anything. It's like, mm, I don't know passing the driving test to prove that you've learned to drive, and then never driving ever again. That would be a pretty dumb thing to do, right? It's perfectly fine to decide you don't like driving a car, you want to use a bicycle instead, I would be totally in favor of that, but then don't waste your time and money going to driving school. Number two, a PhD is not a parking spot. Again and again I see people who get top marks in their undergraduate degree and in their master, and it's like, you know, it's the same as those people at the Las Vegas slot machines. They can't stop. Hey, why are you having another go? Well, so long as I'm winning, I keep playing. Yeah, but why are you doing it? And they don't really know. And the actual unsaid reason is that it seems easier to remain in that cozy university environment than to go out in the real world and having to sort out a rent and mortgage and salary and taxes and relationships and family, childcare and responsibilities in general. So maybe the PhD is subconsciously seen as a way to extend one's stay at university for a few more years and thereby delaying that scary transition about having to become an adult. But the PhD is not a parking spot. A PhD is much too demanding to be treated as a parking spot. If you treat it like that, sometime during your second year, you will realize that you are not getting anywhere compared to your contemporaries who actually have a purpose. And I guarantee it will become an extremely uncomfortable parking spot and you will most likely eventually drop out. So don't do that. You have to have a valid reason to do a PhD. The PhD is hard and you will need that serious reason to drive you and to keep you going when the going gets tough. Three, a PhD is not the ticket to a high paying job, I'm afraid. Most people who are super rich don't have a PhD. They were too busy getting rich to waste time in graduate school. And conversely, most people with a PhD are not super rich. 
They were too preoccupied with their research to care about finding customers and offering them something of value, which is one of the main ways of actually getting rich. Of course, I'm generalizing and there are exceptions, including some of my very esteemed mentors, but on the whole, you should not generally expect the PhD to make you a millionaire or even just to guarantee you a comfortable salary as a corporate employee. Ironically, in some circumstances, it might even make you less employable because the potential employer will think that with a PhD, you will have some career ambitions that you won't be able to fulfill in that post. So they won't offer the post to you, even if you are actually technically qualified for that post. So don't do the PhD for the money, is my advice. A PhD is neither necessary nor sufficient for getting rich. If you are willing to put the hard work, there are much more effective ways to make a lot of money than doing a PhD. For a PhD is not a certificate that you are clever. If you are clever, good for you. But if you are insufficiently confident that you are clever, do not use the PhD to prove it to yourself or to prove it to your mom. Okay? Just get yourself an IQ test. It will be much quicker and cheaper and less stressful. Also, if you are so insecure about your own intelligence that you subconsciously feel the need for a certificate you can frame and hang on the wall, then be aware that during the years of your PhD degree, especially if you do it here, you will be surrounded by plenty of smarter and more motivated people who will make you doubt of yourself even more and will drive you deeply into imposter syndrome. And you will have a really hard time. Just don't do it. Okay, that's the wrong reason. So these are four wrong reasons for wanting to do a PhD. What do you think might be the right reasons for doing a PhD? Tell me in the comments and feel free to disagree widely with anything I said. And say detergent to signal that you also want that other video I was going to record with suggestions on how to get accepted into a PhD program.